फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड वेरियस पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू इट एंड टुडे इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मैक्रोस्कोपिक वर्सेज माइक्रोस्कोपिक व्यू पॉइंट इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स if we want to study behavior of a matter okay we follow two approaches in science there are two approaches and we have to follow these two approaches in science to study the behavior of the matter first is macroscopic approach and second one is microscopic approach okay so friends we all know that <clears throat> a system is made up of large number of molecules everyone know that now in the macroscopic approach we divide the matter into groups of molecule okay matter is divided into groups of molecule that is we study the groups of molecule taken together at a given point of time so the groups of molecule is actually studied and we do not study individual molecule here group of bunch of molecule is here studied here we do not study each and every molecule very important point here we do not study each and every molecule separately okay the behavior of a group of molecule is, is studied rather behavior of group of molecule is studied in macroscopic approach and by studying the group of molecules we arrive at the conclusion of the behavior of matter that is how the matter will behave that is what are the properties of the matter temperature of the matter the pressure of the matter volume of the matter density entropy energy all these things are predicted using the uh, by studying the group of molecules rather than studying individual molecule at a point of time okay so this is the macroscopic approach now we will uh, study uh, i will define the microscopic approach so in microscopic approach each and every molecule of matter is studied separately very important point each and every molecule is studied here and by analyzing the behavior of each and every molecule we predict the behavior of the matter like pressure temperature density and the energy entropy etc etc are predicted by analyzing the behavior of each and every molecule of the system separately okay so such type of study is made in microscopic approach and it is sometimes also called as statistical thermodynamics microscopic approach is also called as statistical thermodynamics where a conclusion is made by taking into account statistical average of all the individual molecule of the system so all the molecules the behavior of all the molecules is studied in microscopic approach okay friends in macroscopic approach it is very easy study the study of the group of molecule is very easier rather than studying the each and every molecule at a time because uh, matter is made of infinite number of molecules so studying every molecule is very difficult so macroscopic approach is easier than the microscopic approach so uh, important point is, uh, here is that all the result of the macroscopic thermodynamics also called as classical thermodynamics okay can however be derived from microscopic approach that is every result which is obtained in macroscopic approach is obtained through microscopic approach okay every result of the macroscopic approach like pressure temperature density volume entropy energy are all obtained from the microscopic approach so microscopic approach is the root cause of all the result of macroscopic approach so friends this was all for today's topic and if you like my video subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for